I know a lot of y'all are going to be mad at me, but that's okay because I'm going to talk about this anyway. And the black community, that was a long pause. Sorry, y'all. The black community, Afro community, whatever community, the the weave wearing community, the dyeing of the hair community, the cutting the hair all the time, trimming the hair, um, the ways that we have adopted when it comes to our hair will diminish and has diminished our ability to receive divine messages of the collective and the universe and the earth okay all everything at once i didn't start receiving powerful messages powerful me messages of enlightenment until i stopped wearing weave that's just the truth like I had, dread, I had dreadlocks when I was a little girl. And then when I got to about nine years old, I cut my hair, I had a fro. And then when I got to about 12 years old, I started wanting my hair pressed out because I didn't feel like pretty with an afro. I didn't feel like I looked good. I didn't feel like I was beautiful. It was a lot of things that I didn't like about myself. like. I looked in the mirror and I thought it was ugly, for real. And a lot of that had to do with my surroundings and the attitude people had about wearing your natural wearing your natural hair. So I felt like straightening my hair, pressing my hair would get me the attention that I really wanted that I really, the validation that I really wanted, that I was enough, that I was worthy, that I was beautiful, that I could do anything with my life, that I could, you know, be with anyone, I could attract love, I could attract, I just, you know, I'm more magnetic when I am have my hair pressed out. And there's a movie on Netflix that really, like, embodies this energy so clearly. It's called Nappy Hair, I think nappy hair i don't know what it's called but it's about hair and it has um the same lady that plays in um love and basketball in it and you know same thing i grew up so self-loathing of my hair i eventually got perms relaxers because i wanted something different and then started coloring my hair then I started wearing weaves. And then by the time I was in college, I was wearing full like I was wearing full blown wigs. And my hair was very thin. It was very thin. And I mean there was no pride in my hair I used to when I was with one of my boyfriends at the time like I would never ever be around him with my natural hair ever ever I always had weave in my hair always like he was never catching me without it in <laughs> and I didn't realize I had a problem until my mom offered to do my sister locks that I presently have. She was like, yeah, I'll do your sister locks. I'll do them real nice. I'll do them real good. And I'll retighten them for you. And, I, you know, I thought that was pretty a good, you know, option. Because I started looking at my life in a bird's eye view perspective. Thinking to myself... I'm either going to wear weave and spend money on weave for the rest of my life, spend money on flat irons, spend money on this and that for the rest of my life, or I'm going to change 
now and I'm gonna go natural now right now and so I made the decision to go natural I made the decision to get sister locks and I'm when I tell you my friends my close friends was like why oh that looks like snakes like why would you get that or you know one of my family members was like why did you do that you know you have good hair meaning my hair is like curly and not as nappy whatever that means it's a lot of that it's a lot of that and that was that same energy it's like it was clinging on to me like that same energy that same insecurity within myself was clinging on to me through other people trying to get me to stay safe and I didn't want to do that anymore so I made the decision and I got my sister locks and they look weird at first I got made fun of at first you know people was my one of my best friends was like I can't believe you're doing this this is crazy but I knew in my heart long term long term that I would be proud of my decision I knew long term that I would be proud that I made the decision to wear my natural hair and now now I mean it's not done but my hair is full my hair is healthy my hair is long my hair is always getting compliments like I mean it it takes it takes it takes guts you know what I'm saying it takes guts to love yourself enough to say I don't really think I'm gonna do that anymore you know I'm beautiful and anybody that comes to me in my life and is still in my life as me being who I am like this is really down for me is really part of my life really part of my life because whenever you whenever you decide to change in life whenever you decide to do something new in life and people start to talk shit or excuse my French um and people start to judge you people start to you know bash you and you know secretly talk to you about other people I mean talk to you to other people talk about you to other people you know men and women will do it that's when you know like <laughs> So when you know the insecurity wasn't just inside of you it was inside of all of those other people as well so when it comes to your hair wearing your natural hair is not just oh I'm gonna wear my natural hair because it's better than no you're actually doing something vibrationally within your body when you wear your natural hair you align yourself with the earth's vibration when you wear your natural hair. You align yourself with the way the universe intended you to be when you wear your natural hair. And so that's why women who wear their natural hair are much more spiritual than your average woman. They're much more, I, I perceive as psychic than your natural woman. They're much more intuitive they are much more in tune. Now, I'm not saying that if you wear weave, that you a dodo bird and you don't know anything. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that if you wear your natural hair that you're somehow better than everybody else. That's not what I'm saying either. What I'm saying is you can benefit your life, your health, your wellness by making the decision to be who you are naturally to be who you are in your natural essence 
I promise you, you'll be a healthier person. You'll have more vitality. You'll be more comfortable in your skin. You'll be more comfortable being who you are. You just be more comfortable. And not only that, but in ancient Ayurvedic, I don't even know how to say that word, but in I want to say, I'm, I'm just going to say in primordial cultures, because they all come from a primordial culture, ancient India, ancient China, ancient Egypt, all the ancient, it's all of a primordial lineage. So in your primordial ancestry, your original being, your original ancestors knew and know that your hair carries energy and in tr- is a transmitter of energy. You're receiving information from your hair. You're receiving energy from your hair. And you're transmitting energy from your hair. On a daily basis. So most people... Most people... Who have hair issues... Their crown chakra is off. You got lice... You got, you know, you're balding. You're already bald. There's something going on with your crown chakra that's been going on for a long time. And now it's physically manifesting itself in the tops of your hair. So in my previous video that I posted um, about Avatar and how Yahweh is Awa, and how I broke down nine ether hair beings in relationship to the primordial beings of this earth. This is a spinoff letting you know that it's important for you to wear your natural nine ether hair. Because when you dye it, when you cut it, when you color it, when you um did I say everything? When you weave it. You can call it a protective hairstyle for all of eternity. But at the end of the day, your hair is a plant. And when you are always covering your hair, you're repelling your hair from receiving sunlight to your scalp. Like, it's supposed to be receiving messages from the ends of your hair to the tops of your hair to your scalp. And that flow can't happen. I know what it's like to have a weave in your hair. Um, I know what it's like to have a weave in your hair for a few weeks to a month. You be having cake upon cake up in your hair. Maybe even dandruff from the mucus. There'd be a lot of stuff going on. Let your scalp breathe. Let your hair breathe so you can tap into your full being your full essence your full your full power as a divine feminine woman as a divine feminine like y'all don't understand how self-loathing you look when you always always have weave in your hair always i mean i'm only at this point now to where i can see it because i was there But now I'm like, dang, like, you've got to conform so much that it brings you out of alignment with your own soul truth, your own true being. You've got to take on other people. And it's not like we just made this decision out of the thin air. Like, no. Our family probably influenced us. Our moms probably influenced us. Aunties, um, VH1, housewives, TV, media. You know, people, we get influenced. But your biggest influencer needs to be your, your own self. Your biggest influencer needs to be your own knowing that you are enough. That should be your biggest influence. And when people knock you for that, just be be more and more of yourself. 
and watch those people fall off because they don't need to be in your life. But see, we, you got to be willing to let go and know that on the other side of letting go, there's a better you. There's a better existence. There's a better earth. There's a better exit. There's a better. Everybody's just better because you happier as a woman. You happier. You love yourself more. So now your family is happier. Now your man is happier. And if he got a problem with it, then he needs to go somewhere too. Like you need to just leave that. Because I I see a lot of women who are encouraging women to wear weave and look a certain way or whatever so they can get a man. And it's like, you don't have to wear weave to get a man, especially a man of means, especially a man who can do things for you, who can actually provide for you. Just get you a man who has natural hair his, himself. Because the majority of those men who like women who wear a lot of weave don't be having no hair. They be bald they damn self. So you got one bald person with another bald person no hair like no and it i see that a lot like i'm starting to see like so many black men who are balding as there are so many black women who wear so much weave and i don't think that's natural i don't think you're used to, you're not supposed to be balding by the time you 25 30 that's not supposed to happen bruh <laughs> like we were meant to have a lot of hair. We were meant to have thick hair. Like, my hair was not this thick when I first got my locks. My hair was like, I, it, there's no way I could sh show how it looked. I would have to put a picture up. Maybe I might do that. Maybe I might not. But, yeah. So, that's why it's important. It's so important for y'all to just stop with the crazy. Stop coming up with these excuses about how if you take care of it then it's still good no it's not about taking care of the cover-up it's about taking care of you your soul your essence your being that's what it's about it's not about um you know brushing and it's not about that that's where people get lost with this whole natural epidemic and the vegan epidemic and it's not about the superficial stuff of looking good and fitting in. It's about your soul being fed, your body being fed, you being healthy, you being strong, you being well. So I hope this video resonated with some of you. I know it probably did. Um, make sure you like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos because I will be posting more videos just like this. And I will see you guys in the next in the next one. So peace.